Today I've built an entire team of the best NFL rookies, and I'm gonna play until this team wins the Super Bowl. So is the team gonna surprise us all and win the Super Bowl in the very first season, or is it actually gonna take 5-10 years? Because all of these young studs are gonna turn into beasts eventually. Would you believe that a team of rookies won the NFC North? I cannot believe a team of rookies got the 3 seed. Now how on earth did all of this happen? We already had a top 5 offense, that's nice, and we still had a really good defense. Defense. Now, if this team of rookies is already good enough to have a top five offense, like imagine how good they'll be in like two or three years when these players really start to progress. I mean, that's a pretty ridiculous season from a rookie quarterback. 4,200 yards, 27 touchdowns to only nine picks. Now, how'd they do running the football? Bijan with 2,300 yards and 15 touchdowns. No big deal. JSN just eclipsing the thousand yards as a rookie with eight touchdowns. I may be a little disappointed in Zay Flowers and Jordan Addison. Jack Campbell with 143 tackles, which was just good enough to lead the entire NFL in his first season. Jalen Carter will Anderson are monsters. Now, I'm curious. I feel like Bryce might have actually got a few MVP votes as a rookie, and he did. Not many, but he did come in the top 10, which means he had to have. He had to have won Rookie of the Year, right? No. Which it doesn't really matter, because our running back won it. Like, literally, the top seven players all came off of our team. Kind of more impressive that Keandre Miller, Jonathan Mingo, and Zach Evans even came in the top 10. Now, Defensive Rookie of the Year goes to Jack Campbell, of course. Literally only one non-bear made it onto the top 10. Now, before we see how far this team makes it in the playoffs, we gotta go and see how high their overalls went up. So, Bryce Young, Bijan, and Jason are all superstars. Hold on, Bijan's overall is already up to a true 87? This man is gonna be a 99 overall in no time. And JSN's already up to an 82. Now, defensively, Jack Campbell's close to an 80. Jalen Carter's already an 83. And we already have two cornerbacks over 80 overall. I'm telling you, man, this team is gonna be nasty the next few seasons. I just feel like it's too good to be true. I have a bad feeling we're just gonna get first rounded. We're a team of rookies, our first ever playoff game against the Packers, and we lost. Only by six. Now, that one hurts. Now, I do want to move on past the Super Bowl to see if any of our players upgrade the Superstar X Factor. I swear to God, the Cowboys win at every single video I make. Just more upgrades for Bijan and Jack Campbell. And speaking of Jack Campbell, he's up to Superstar, which offensively, nobody's quite an X Factor just yet. Now, anybody on the defensive side? No, I'm surprised Jalen Carter's not a Superstar. I can't believe the team's already an 80 overall across the board. Like, I fully expect that to maybe even make it to 90 today. Here in season number two, as the players progress throughout the season, you gotta believe they win more than 10 games, right? Like, logically, it'd be dumb if they were worse this year. I mean, at least they're consistent. I mean, had a top five offense again. Defensively, they did get better. I mean, another good season from Bryce. I wouldn't really say he took a massive step forward. I mean, threw for more touchdowns, but more picks, a worse completion percentage, and less yards. But Bijan balled out again, almost 1,400 yards and 17 touchdowns. Like, he might already be a superstar x fan. And Jason with another 1,000 yard season with 14 touchdowns. Jordan Addison balling out. I'm kind of disappointed with Zay Flowers though. Jack Campbell again was a tackling machine. Now it does look like Will Anderson broke out with 14 sacks on the year. And Devin Witherspoon with a big season with 5 interceptions. Now did Bryce still come in the top 10? He did. Once again in ninth place. That's weird. Will Anderson in year 2 actually came in 5th place for defensive player of the year voting. And Bijan was only behind CeeDee Lamb and Cooper Cup. Now, before we do start hopefully a Super Bowl run, I do want to see if this team has anybody in the 90s yet or anybody that became a Superstar X Factor. And no Superstar X Factors yet, but my God, dude, B. John Robinson already up to a 93 overall. Like, this man is an absolute demon. Bryce is also progressing fairly well. Now, how about on the defensive side of things here, Jack Campbell up to an 80. Jalen Carter up to an 85. Still nobody other than Jack Campbell's a superstar yet. Team is up to an 83 overall across the board. Now, please tell me this time we don't get first rounded. It's a tough game against the 
Eagles, but we're playing at home and we lost again. This time around by two touchdowns. Can't wait to see the Cowboys in the Super Bowl again. What I tell ya? At least they lost this year. Now here in the offseason, somebody had to have became an X Factor. Maybe Bijan is because he's now up to a 94 overall. The moment of truth. Yes, he is, dudes. Literally at the end of his second season, our man's an X Factor. Rice is still a superstar. Jason's still a superstar. Superstar. Wonder if any of these offensive linemen become superstar. We do now officially, though, have three receivers over 80 overall. Now, on defense, we do have a few superstars now. Will Anderson improved. Devin Witherspoon improved. I'm just shocked that Jalen Corder hasn't. And had to check in on my kicker and punter, who still both have star development. I'm telling you, I think here in year three, this is going to be the year we finally take a massive step forward and win more than 10 games and finally not get first rounded in the playoffs and boys did we take a massive step forward 15 and 2 on the year we started this season off with a massive winning streak in the last few weeks we did lose back-to-back -back games by three hopefully that's not a sign of things to come at least we have a chance to get revenge on the eagles so finally had the top offense in the league now defensively uh we went way backwards but bryce with by far the best season of his career 4200 yards 39 touchdowns to only four picks. Now running the football, Bijan went off 1,600 yards to 22 touchdowns. That was almost six yards per carry. This might have been the season he finally joined the 99 club. Now finally, we had another breakout player here. Dalton Kincaid with 1,000 yards, 14 touchdowns. JSN with 1,000 yards for three consecutive seasons. Finally, decent production from Zay Flowers and Jordan Addison. And look at Bijan. John Robinson with almost 600 yards through the air. Now, defensively, what happened here? Jack Campbell still, you know, got a lot of tackles. Now, sacks like Will Anderson, Jalen Carter still getting some. Like, apparently, defensively, we could not stop the pass at all. Had did Bryce Young finally win an MVP? No, he doesn't. Dak steals it every year. At least Bryce did come in the top five. The Cowboys, I swear, they steal everything. Speaking of that, bro, Bijan didn't even win offense of player of the year like how oh there they go they have a defensive player of the year too i swear to god bro whoever coded franchise is a diehard cowboys fan like that is the stupidest thing i've ever seen yeah we didn't get a first round buy because the cowboys went 16 and 1 now before we do hopefully start this super bowl run i gotta see man do we have a 90 overall yet come on now Bijan. yes it's only taken our man three full seasons to become a 99 overall like that is ridiculous ridiculous stats. I mean, he's already the top-ranked running back, and he's only 23 years old. Like, this guy is gonna be a 99 for, like, seven more seasons. And Bryce hasn't even hit 90 yet. Out of the entire team, like, I'm kind of disappointed in the offensive line. Like, we still have two guys not even over 80 yet. Now, how about on the defensive side of things here? Jack Campbell's quite a bit up. Well, Anderson's approaching 90. So is Devin Witherspoon. I do think the defense might be a little bit worse in the offense. Now, the team is now up to an 85 overall across the board. Now, is that finally enough to win a playoff game? Our third season, our third third playoff appearance and we finally get a playoff win six point victory thank god and if we do beat the giants here we'll probably have to take on the cowboys come on please be a win and don't be the cowboys please be a win and don't be the cowboys it's the cowboys i mean at least we won we did get a 10 point victory but even if the team of rookies does find a way to beat the cowboys they'll have to take on either joe burrow or patrick mahomes in the super bowl and keep in mind after a fantastic start to the season the cowboys were the first team to beat us and the Bengals were the other team to beat us so we really could be screwed i'm going into cowboy stadium to watch it this way because if we win this the team of rookies finally makes the super bowl and we got a quick seven nothing start come on seven three we have the lead 14 three we are three quarters away from a super bowl appearance in the cowboys oh god before halftime we take an 11 point lead come on come on bro 28 10 don't let them come back. It's a 15-point game. 
There's no shot the Cowboys do something bad here. There's no shot. The team of rookies officially in just three seasons have gone from a team that got first rounded twice in a row now to a team that has made the Super Bowl. Can't believe we did the impossible and beat the Cowboys. What a game from Bryce Young. You know, not to mention Bijan and his 10.5 yards per carry. And let me tell you, Dalton Kincaid has stepped up massively this season. We got a ton of player upgrades before we find out whether or not we have to take on Patrick Mahomes or Joe Burrow. Honestly, I hope this is the Bengals so we can get revenge. No, we have to take on Mahomes. Kansas City is actually the higher overall, so yes, we're the underdogs. But time to see if a full team of rookies can go all the way in just three seasons. If we don't win this, we do move on to a season number four, and we go down the field and score drive one seven nothing. Oh my god, 14 nothing, and the, the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes answer is 21 to 7. Nobody can stop our offense right now. Please, please keep them out. Oh god, it's a touchdown game. They're gonna tie. They're gonna tie. They tied. Oh no, we're gonna choke this away. 28-21. Come on now. Tie game. We go down the field. We kick a field goal. The Chiefs beat us. Oh my god, the Chiefs beat us at the last second. Oh, I want to cry. I want to cry. I want to cry. This hurts! Get me out of here before you see a 28-year-old grown man cry. If we got that close, I'm telling you, season number four with the team getting even better this next season, season number four is gonna be the year. Now, after that Super Bowl run, did we get any new Superstar X factors? And yes, we did, and it's a big one. Bryce Young, who is now up to an 89 overall, does have Superstar X factor now which is going to be massive for his development. Aside from that, no other changes on offense, aside from Dalton Kincaid becoming a superstar. Now, defensively, any big upgrades? Jack Campbell now an X-Factor. And also, Jalen Carter finally became a superstar. Into next season, with the team up now to an 86 overall, with an 87 offense and an 85 defense. But I do have to say, I have a bad feeling that we are due for some EA Sports absolute nonsense. Because regardless, it's going to be so tough to replicate a 15-2 and two season, even though theoretically every player on your team should end up better. I mean, it's not 15-2, and two, but you can't be mad at a 13-4 and four season. Let me guess, the Dallas Cowboys got the one seed. Oh, what a shocker. We went from the number one offense to the number two this year. Now, defensively, a pretty big improvement. Bryce Young with just stupid numbers again. 39 touchdowns to only three interceptions. Now, Bijan is an absolute ridiculous nasty monster man 1800 yards 25 touchdowns with a 6.4 yard per carry on average like he should get some mvp votes jsn doing jsn things four straight years of a thousand yards dalton kincaid back-to-back 1k seasons zay flowers jordan addison doing the same thing they do every year jack campbell with some crazy numbers again and honestly i'm a little surprised that jalen carter and will anderson aren't getting more sacks in this although that's still good numbers. Now, did we finally have ourselves a league MVP? No. But Bryce Young did come in fifth, and Bijan did come in seventh. Now, do we at least have an award winner? Yes, Bijan beat out CD Lamb. I have a feeling with his X Factor, Bryce is probably up to what, like a 95 overall now? Not quite, but a 92 is still solid. JSN officially eclipsed 90. I'm telling you, this defense is just getting better and better. We're now up to an 88 overall with a 88 across the board. Time for the playoff run, and I'm telling you, year four is our year. That's as long as we don't get upset and first rounded here by the 82 overall Buccaneers. We're at home, should be no issue. We get the dub. And if we beat the Rams here, well, again, probably have to take on the Cowboys. Let's just make sure we win here and punch our ticket into the NFC Conference Championship game. We're the favorites, and we get another win of course. Look at who we have to freaking play. A massive win over the Rams. But can we do it against the Cowboys again? Good thing is if we do, we at least don't have to take on Mahomes again. We are the favorites here, but what are the odds we beat them back-to-back -back years? Let's get off to another fast start here. Win, and we're back in the Super Bowl. 7 at the lead. Cowboys tie things up, and we regain the lead by a field goal. The Cowboys on top. 14-10, 21-10. We get points before half, which is huge. And we do take the lead. Going into the fourth quarter, we get the ball back. Come on. Come on, it's a six-point game. That's not good. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's no shot. No shot. The Cowboys come back, and we get the...
the win in back-to-back -back seasons over the Dallas Cowboys to again have a shot to win a Super Bowl. Take that, Dallas. And the good news is we don't have to play Patrick Mahomes in the Super Bowl again. Two big upgrades going into the Super Bowl. Is it going to be Bengals or Steelers? Honestly, I hope it's the Steelers. Give me the Mickey Mouse Steelers. And Mickey Mouse it is. The team of rookies just has to beat Kenny Pickett and Najee Harris. How does Bijan even have an upgrade? Like, what does that do? Take him to a 100 overall? No shot. We let a 9-8 and eight team take us down. Absolutely zero shot. We lose back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Good start on defense. 7-0 lead. Keep it going. Keep it going. 14-0. Come on. Keep on putting those points up. 21-6 into halftime. Oh, God. It's a one-possession game. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on. One more touchdown. There's no shot, right? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Overtime. 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 And we win. Let's go. Boom. In an absolute overtime thriller, the team of rookies finally get it done. As fitting, Bryce Young is your MVP. But yes, boys, the team of rookies officially take four seasons to win the Super Bowl. And let me tell you something, this team ended up juicy. Now hopefully you enjoyed that one and hopefully I earned your subscription to my channel. And if you did, you can click right here to watch me play through the entire career of Bryce Young and let me tell you his career's crazy. 